TSA. Oh. You got fouled by the TSA. You got invaded by the TSA. Yeah, I went to the airport uh, in the morning. My flight was at 1020 in the morning. My sphincter tickles. And um, this was on the way back from Chicago. On the way back from Chicago, my dad dropped me off. He realized he forgot his cell phone, and normally he likes to wait in the parking garage of the airport before. To, and I'll text him like, "Hey, I've left," you know, or "I'm on the plane," um, or "I got through TSA," so he doesn't, you know, leave and I'm stranded at the airport if something happens. So he forgot his cell phone. So I'm like, "Don't worry about it. I'll be fine." So we look and see the line at the TSA is super short. I get to the airport maybe about um, 9.15. Get to the good stuff. Okay. So, but the timing <laughs> of this is important. Wait, how was checking in and everything with the, with the flight? All right, no, no, here we me. go. Here we go. That's what, just let me get there. 9.15. First is, I thought we were at gate A. Turned out it was at gate no. C. So I had to walk all the way down. 9.15 I get there, very uh -huh. short line. So what? I get to the TSA. I take my shoes off, mm -hmm. put my suitcase on, put my purse, my phone, and my shoes in the same bin. You're doing everything you're supposed to do. Is 100%. What you're saying. Okay. I have the exact same contents in my bags as I did the way there. There, there's nothing been take, removed or added. Right. It's the exact same contents of everything. So I put everything through. I go through the scanner. I do the arms up thing. My bag comes through, and I can't find the bin with my shoes or my purse or my phone. My instinct is that someone stole it because I don't see it anywhere. They pulled it because it alarmed. They're rifling through your bag. So I would think. But they pulled it, and I can see behind this plexiglass, there's a line of like six or seven bags, and there's nobody there going through them. They've just been pulled and set aside. And I look down, and there's a whole bunch of people waiting for people, someone to go through their bags so they can go on their merry way. This random bag check. No, this was my, these were the bags that were alarmed by the machine. Okay. So I'm like, I'm trying to rack my brain thinking, what could possibly have been, been in my purse? I, I, I didn't add anything to my purse and I didn't take anything away from when I came. So why would it sound now and didn't sound in Cleveland? I don't know. So I'm asking these people, I'm like, how long have you been waiting? And they're like, no one's been over there for 15 minutes to look through our bags and we keep asking and nothing. So I find a supervisor and I'm like, hey, can someone start going through those bags? My, my flight's about to start boarding. And um, he goes, oh, sure, sure, I'll send someone over. And I explain to the people next to me, I'm like, hey, I'm on a, I'm on a time crunch a little bit um, because we've already been waiting for 15 minutes or whatever. I'm like, Could you, do you guys, are you guys in a hurry? They're like, no, 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 ask the lady when she comes to do your bag first. So I'm like, perfect. I see a woman come by. I'm like, hey, can you go through the black bag first? My flight is boarding. And she looks at me and she goes, everybody's flight's boarding. And I'm like, ma'am, that's actually not true. But these people agreed that I could skip the line. And she, she picks up my bag, or picks up the bin with my bag, and looks me dead in the eye and puts it to the back of the entire line of bags that need to be gone, gone through and walks away. And I'm like... So she's just having a bad day and taking it out on you. 100%. And I'm just like, crap. I'm like, I really need that lady to come back. Like, So I'm like trying to like sweet talk uh, her back. I'm like, please, ma'am. You know, like, really, please. Like, I really need my bag to go through. My plane literally is boarding right now. Is there butt touching a miss? Yes. Okay. So... I, so Otherwise, the, I'd feel misled. Uh, yes. So the lady comes back over, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, thank you so much. She's like, you don't understand we, what we go through on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm like, you know what? I don't. I'm sorry. I'm like, but don't take it out on me. Like, I haven't done anything wrong. She takes my bag, puts it back, calls me a bitch, and puts it back in the she line again. She called you a bitch? Called me a bitch to my face. And the lady next to me well, is like. Well, nice rather than doing it behind your back. Yeah, right? So polite. The lady next to me, who's tried to be, try to help me like make this process go faster, she's like, "Are you kidding me?" The la other yeah. lady is being mad on my behalf. So finally, they get some other guy to come over and look through my bag because she's still bad mouthing me like two lanes over, and and she's just being an a hole. Yep. The guy picks up my purse, unzips it, dumps it all out. I have change. I have lip glosses. I have all kinds of tampons, whatever. And it goes everywhere. It doesn't just land in the bin. It falls over everything. So I'm now picking up. So I'm, these people are making their job more difficult by just not being respectful. Yes. So the guy, long story short, he's going through with some powder and is testing all the things in my purse with this powder. My planes, it's now, uh, my plane leaves at 1020. It's now 1010. I'm like, I'm screwed. I'm, I'm done. So I, and like, he won't even let me take my cell phone to call my dad or let him know not to leave the airport or call, you know, call somebody. 
And um, the lady goes, and he, so he closes everything up, and he goes, I got to find a lady to frisk you. I'm like, why do I have to be frisked? I just want you to throw the scanner, and I'm f clear. He's like, no, if you, your bag alarms, I'm like, but you didn't find anything. We have to frisk you. So the lady comes back over. She goes, oh, no, I ain't touching that bitch. And so they get another woman, and the other lady is bad-mouthing me the entire time the woman's, like, doing the frisk thing. And there's no uh, superior person, no co-worker that's, like... Nobody. Telling her to lay off. Nobody will speak up for me. Like, no one that works there. Just the, the, the other passengers are, like, speaking up on my behalf. First they came for her bag, and I said nothing. Mm -hmm. Then they came for my bag. But there was no one left to speak up for me. <laughs> it could so, happen to you. So the frisk was aggressive. In front of everyone? In front of everyone. Now we're getting the good stuff. She explains to me what she's gonna do. I'm like, I'm just tuning out, because I know what it is. You're gonna touch me in places I don't feel like being touched, but whatever. I'm not complaining at this point, because I just want to get out of there. So I'm standing So they're there. using bodily frisks as revenge for people getting upset? Because the other lady is talking bad about me while the other lady is frisking me, as if I'm not there. They're having a conversation about me as if I'm not there being currently frisked. Okay. And the woman is, you know how they do just like, well, you got frisked that one time yeah. when we were together. And they kind of just like graze over you gingerly, right? Mm -hmm. This lady is up in my bra, like I had a dress on and a, a bra underneath and she's like hand like over my dress but still like hand up there like feeling aggressively and then she goes to the inner thigh and literally like rams her two hands like in the lip region okay she's all up in your creases <laughs> yeah she's yeah. in my folds uh -huh. okay but but she's got nails and she went like whoo like that mm -hmm. and i'm like and I, I want to see something. Impromptu. Like she was a defensive lineman trying to get you to get oh that first my God. step off. The you got an impromptu DNC, is what you're saying. Yes, and I want to say something, but I, you know, what are you gonna say, right? Yeah. And so how close to tears were you during? I was in tears at so this you were point crying. because okay. I was, I wasn't crying like. Ugh! But you I was, like, I was tearing up. Yes. And she, in the one swell, foul swoop of like her doing that, like again, that motion of like going up there, she lifts my entire dress up in front of like. I don't know how many freaking people are standing there. And you the... didn't start flipping out at this point? What can she do? Her flight is... And start like... yelling, go, is anyone else watching this? So I she mean, could get arrested? People are yelling on my behalf next to me, and the one woman, like, comes over behind me and is, like, trying to block people from seeing anything because this lady clearly does not care, whatever. And so she finally gets done frisking me and whatever. They don't put any of my belongings back into my purse. They're still all over the floor. So I'm on the floor picking up all of my belongings, I run to the gate and it's closed and I go to the front desk there the desk by the gate and they're like sorry that they, they stopped boarding like 10 minutes ago and I'm like, like I just got fingered by the TSA yeah. so if I could get on that'd but be by cool. some miracle the lady not miracle white people problems but like some lady comes over through the gate you know like once they're done doing their checks mm -hmm. and whatever and she goes, we have 77 souls on board and we're missing one Erica. And I'm like, that's me, that's me. And she's, I'm like, can I still get on? And she's like, you better run faster than you've ever run in your life. So I'm like, Forrest gumping it, like mm -hmm. when he finally gets the, the braces off. And I run through and I'm just like, I'm tearing up. And then I get on the plane and I forgot that everyone's been sitting there for like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So I'm all like, ah! Yeah, and you're walking down the aisle and everyone's looking at you like, what's yeah, the there's problem? She goes, girl. there's one seat left and it's in the back so i have to go past all these people like a freaking nightmare uh -huh. i've been felt up i've been accused of being a bitch i've been accosted and now you have to ride in a plane and you hate flying yeah, so you're already i already hate flying i'm already afraid of flying so the, so as soon as the, the uh, drink card comes by i said two shots of tequila <laughs> and well, i did you get a... them both window seat at least no bitch seat in the middle <laughs> and there was turbulence the whole time why do they still go with souls? Souls? I don't know. It's the only place outside of church anybody refers to souls as on flights. 77 souls on board. Yeah. If you have an atheist pilot. But shout out to Southwest, though. That the, the, uh, that you were able to get on? I was able to get on. They were so nice to let me on. And then when I got on, the guy knew I was having a tough time. So he like made sure to like come to my section first to take the drink orders. And I think he only charged me for one tequila shot. She called so. you a bitch because you asked about your bag behind the wall? She called me a bitch when I when I said, 
You were in a hurry. Now, um, she said, not everyone's flight's boarding right now. I said, ma'am, that's not true. That's when she originally called me a bitch. Huh. And then she called me a bitch again to her other coworker because I said something like, you don't have to take it out on me. Like, I'm sorry. Mm. I, I said, I'm sorry for what's happening to you today, but you don't have to take it out on me. And that's when she, like, went into her whole tirade. You didn't get her name or anything? Saw it. Her so shirt, I want your badge number. Her shirt said Thompson. So I don't know if that's her last name You're going to write what. a strongly worded letter to the I'm TSA? I'm not, because, because what? What is going to come of that? Nothing. Nothing. I don't know. These people are paid hourly. No, TSAs can do whatever the hell they want. This has been a problem for well, a long no, time for a lot of people. No, that's the point. They can't do whatever they want. But they have been. Okay, know. but that's still counter to what they're supposed to be doing. It's just like, I know everybody's got these stories. but At I mean, the end of the day, though, I'm not, other than being remo- a little emotionally scarred yesterday in the moment, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not sweating it today. See, other in the than scanner, uh, when I put story. my arms up in the thing, they get mad because I say, don't shoot. And then they get me out, and that's when I get the cavity search. But <laughs> but see, the thing is, if I had had, like, liquid in my bag or something sharp, like something I wasn't supposed to have, I could understand sense, yeah. why they'd be pissed off and, like, whatever. It's like, you know, I get mad at people that, that fly, and they don't come prepared. They, like, don't know that they need to take their shoes off. They don't know that they need to take their laptop out of their backpack and put it in a separate well, bin. That's so why I get don't that, that TSA often. Express. Don't have to do any of that nonsense. But it doesn't matter. They say it to you as you're walking up to the TSA. Oh, okay. If you have a laptop, take it out of your bag, and people go, what? You know, I'm, well, some people aren't regular travelers. I, yeah, I which is what I just said. That's yeah. why they tell, they yeah. remind you while you're going through the line. But I could see if I had broken any laws, like I had br- tried to bring something through, I couldn't. Then to find anything, I didn't have. I had chained in some lip gloss and all my credit cards, and that's it. Maybe they thought your lip gloss was an explosive device. I don't know, mm. but I mean, white people problems. At the end of the day, it's not that serious. But hey, Dustin. Yes, sir. Hey, guys, how you doing? Good. Hey, hey! I just uh, was telling Poundcake, you know, uh, listening to Erica's story there, and at first I was thinking, well, she was probably being all snooty because she's all uppity, uppity, and then uppity. the more she went on, I started thinking, uh, you know, you know, maybe just because this lady uh, might have been a little fugly, Erica's pretty hot, and she's probably a little jealous, wanted to give the cute girl a hard time. Then I started hearing two hands up the bulls, and now I'm driving like, damn, it's getting exciting, I'm loving it. <laughs> So I just thought I wanted to share my feelings with you guys. Dustin's really all over the place. Yeah, so well, Sum <laughs> Ting Wong, We Too Low, Ho Li Fook, and Bang Ding Ow. Right. No, all right. I'm sorry that happened. Well, yeah. It's At the end of the day, who gives a crap? But I figured it was worth sharing because we always talk about the TSA They here. didn't find any liquid in your bag. No, nothing. They didn't no, find just, anything. Didn't they find any in your dress? Found liquid in my, yeah, in my dress when she stabbed me with her fingernail. Yeah. It was blood. All right. As long as you didn't bleed. <laughs> Did you at least finish? No. <laughs> oh, That's I bleed. bled everywhere. At least give me what a happy tease. ending. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs>